Hey everybody. Hey y'all. Uh, I'm Raquel and the channel is called Raquel Reacts where, um, well, we react and respond to, uh, news and the po political hypocrisy, which is running rampant today. I think we can all agree with that. Uh, anyway, anyway, real quick, I just wanted to say that, uh, you know, I don't, I'll never understand, um, why people don't want to be a part of the pro-American anti-commie community, right? Because you guys, uh, are extremely welcoming, and I believe anybody with a pro-America agenda would be totally, um, you know, uplifted and, and welcomed here, you know? I mean, I have the best subscribers because I could talk to y'all all day long. I really could. If you haven't already noticed, uh, tech savvy, I am not, all right? Um, I have a message and I have a lot of experiences that contradict the mainstream media narrative, but not great with technology. No, no, no. So, uh, shout out to the subscribers who share these videos just kind of, you know, the ones who just kind of help steer this channel to the right places. And for the subscriber who sent me a link to get in Getter, uh, for some reason, I, I didn't see it. Maybe I'm not looking in the right spot. But if it's possible, can you, like, either put it in the comment section under this video or, or, or you could actually send it directly to my email, RaquelReacts at gmail.com. That's all lowercase, I believe. I'm not sure if it matters, but, um, okay, okay, okay. And by the way, yes, so those of you who watched, uh, my video on Rumble where I talked about working at the prison, that'll be kind of a continued story. I don't want to just leave y'all hanging or anything, because look, we've just started. We have just started. At this point, we've gotten about to my first week pretty much we're at my week one we're at we're on week one of my two-year career there so definitely stay tuned for that crazy journey i mean i guess it's okay as long as i don't you know like use names and stuff i don't know i should probably check i should probably check into that but anyway listen listen okay the first thing that i want to show y'all i want to show y'all a tiktoker we got listen we've got so much to get into i seriously doubt I'm going to be able to get into all of it, but this, you're going to be getting a lot of clips, okay? I got a lot of other stuff, too. Like, I got a lot of Twitter stuff, but in this video, y'all might be getting a lot of clips uh, coming your way. So, watch this TikToker, okay? And then, we'll talk about it. To fix it, um, they are fully in the Trump cult. And I can't have that around me. I can't have that around my kids. Um, you, if you've seen my previous TikToks, you know that um, my parents have taught my children some very um, unpleasant religious things. And I just, I, I can't have them exposed to things. Hmm. Yeah. Well, first of all, what is around her neck? What's around her neck? Take that off take that off. I hate to have to say this, but, you know, with AirPods and everything, $30 at Walmart, you can get AirPods for 30 bucks at Walmart right now. Uh, 2009 called, and they want their headset back, first of all. Anyway, this nut nugget right here is telling about how she cut off her, her parents, okay? She cut off her parents, um, her MAGA parents, because, she disagrees with them politically. That's what she's saying. She cut off her base parents because she disagrees with them politically. And, um, yeah, so she says she's having to distance her kids, her and her kids from them because, uh, you know what? They may have taught them, in her words, some religious stuff, right? Um, like what? Like what? Maybe did they teach them how to pray? You think they may have taught them how to pray? Did they teach the kids about Jesus? Okay, well, see, see what I'm saying? Like, I remember how I talk about, I talk about this all the time, how on TikTok, um, it, it's, it's very anti-Jesus, pro-abortion platform. 
It is. It is. It is. And look, she probably, I mean, hold on. Everybody, all conservative content creators are going right over there to get their material. So, I just, I feel like I have to convince people sometimes that it's, it's even more of a sewer and cesspool than any other platform. But anyway, um, look, this, this, this chick probably has tons of likes. She probably got tons and tons of likes off of this video uh, because, you know, TikTok is banning Christians and conservatives and definitely MAGA, definitely MAGA. Uh, but uh, totally and completely ridiculous, ridiculous. <sighs> okay, real quick, um, I want to show y'all another one. So, the clip that I'm about to show you, it comes from like, from definitely a blue account. You hear me? It's a blue account. In fact, in fact, uh, I wanted to tell y'all something about this user here. Uh, let me see. Hold on. If I can find it. Blue Wave. Hold on. I want to make sure I get the right account. Um, this, uh, okay, here we go. Big Blue Wave U USA. Big Blue Wave USA. Um, listen. Well, you know what? Roll the clip. Then, whichever alternative candidate gets the most votes wins. This is how Republicans win California. Remember Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger? He won on a recall. Republicans have been trying to recall Newsom since the day he was elected. So it's not about him doing a bad job. It's their play to take over the state. The recall. Okay, I don't want these people to block me because I'm using them as an example or anything because that's what usually happens if they catch wind of it. But uh, listen, listen, what she's talking about is the recall, uh, the recall effort to recall Gavin Newsom, right? Okay, okay. Uh, she's talking about the recall Newsom effort and... Um, she goes on to, to, um, basically, listen, listen, there, she, she's telling everybody, hey, look, uh, you gotta vote no on the recall Newsom whenever it comes up, you know, they just gonna send, they just gonna send ballots right to their house, and she's telling everybody, hey, hey, remember when Arnold Schwarzenegger got elected in a recall uh, election, we don't want that to happen again, and we may end up with, uh, in her words, a maskless, flag-waving, Trump-loving, unjabbed Republican, right? So, 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 y listen, lady, yes, 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 we, we, we are trying to take California, exactly, yes, yes, you're right about that, correct, 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 uh, and in fact, um, Yes, we want a Larry Elder. We want to get Larry Elder right on up in there. That's exactly what we want to do. Uh, I mean, seriously. But the reason I showed you this video is because these people are getting... They're a little worried about this recall. They're a little worried about this recall because... Um, like I said, she goes... She references the Schwarzenegger thing. Um, she goes and tells everybody... Um, they better vote no. They better vote no because it's very possible that they may end up with a mega mad lad. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be so good? I mean, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Okay, 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 okay. Listen, um, I swear I'm telling you I have so much I don't even know where to go next. Okay, listen. There's, there was something that I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to in this video, but I will make a follow-up video about it, and it has to do with Louisiana. Y'all all know that I live in Tennessee, but I'm from Louisiana, and you always keeping an eye on what's going on in your home state, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, yeah, we are fixing a blast, Bill Cassidy, because, uh, for this infrastructure bill, but that's going to be a later today, later today. Okay, um, okay, I want to show y'all a clip. Let me set the stage real quick. Let me set the stage. Okay, 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 okay. Um, okay, so Tucker, 
uh, he, he went, he came on his show last night. I don't know if you guys know, but CNN, CNN. Okay, so at the same time that Obama's birthday bash was going on, you also had the event uh, happening in Sturgis. If I'm not mistaken, both things were going on uh, pretty much the same time. Somebody let me know if I'm wrong, but that's the way I understood it. Well, what do you think CNN talked about? They talked about how Sturgis, you know, uh, super spreader event, you, you, y'all know what it is. So anyway, anyway, um, they actually called, listen, they actually said that the Obama birthday bash was super duper fine, totally okay, nothing to see here, because these people were sophisticated and vaccinated. That's what they said, that's what they said, okay? Of course, um, people are coming out saying otherwise, right? But anyway, um, the point is, is how they went on and on and on about Sturgis. I mean, listen, just, just watch this clip. Watch, Tucker is going to talk about how CNN has an article up right now, um, over on their website, um, you know, bashing the bikers. Look, what else can I say? Uh, for be this event at least for being a um a super spreader event not really one word about the obama bash so check this out go to cnn's website right now and you will find a very lengthy piece with this headline and we're quoting south dakota's sturgis motorcycle rally a cautionary tale in the age of covid19 <laughs> a cautionary tale cautioning against what believing the dummies at cnn in the piece cnn reports with horror that there are virtually no TikTok stars this year at Sturgis. They're all in Martha's Vineyard. Oprah's never even been to Sturgis. Instead. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, listen. I, I can't help it. I can't help it. Tucker's uh, Tucker's little shows, they've been, they, they've been pretty spot on, you got to admit. Listen, if y'all hear a crazy noise in the background, it is because they are power washing outside power washing okay i have no idea what's going on i just know that they are out there power washing to me it sounds super loud and i know it's gonna I, and listen i know it's gonna probably uh show up in the uh and in in whenever i play this back <laughs> anyway listen okay okay those are the clips those are the clips but we got we got so much more y'all so so much more the reason I'm about to talk about this right here is because you know how they talk about there's no now this granted this is a little bit different this is a local thing but still still um they talk about how you know super duper um safe and secure um you know that uh our elections are right super duper safe and secure Former Middle Tennessee councilman and wife arrested for perjury and voter registration fraud, right? Listen, I'm not going to go too far into this because it, it is kind of a local thing here. But uh, I just, I, I wanted to bring this up because of, you know, what, what they tried, the narrative that's being pushed out. But, okay, so this, um, this, this man, um... This former councilman in Middle Tennessee and his wife, they've been arrested on indictments charging them with perjury and voter registration fraud. In March, the, T the TBI began in investigating 36-year-old Richard Garrett, who was a councilman for the city of Clarksville. Right here, right here. Um, at the time, agents say he'd been accused of violating election laws. The, as the investigation unfolded, TBI agents found Garrett and his wife, 35-year-old, I'm just going to call her Garrett because I can't pronounce it, that they were responsible for perjury and voter registration fraud. He served as Ward 1 City Council member for seven years and resigned in July after a formal investigation into his residence was launched by the DA's office. Now, I know that politicians they do this all the time they do this all the time you know um they'll say that uh they live somewhere else whenever they really don't it happens all the time right but i'm bringing this up because yesterday josh hawley see it right here trending on twitter josh hawley was trending on twitter 
Um, and I basically the gist of it is um, claims that he was using someone else's address, perhaps his sister's address, uh, but didn't doesn't really live there now. That listen, that's we'll get into that in a minute. But that is why that's another reason why I'm talking about this right here because this is precisely what it sounds like these people did. Here's a picture. Here's a picture right here. Husband and wife. Husband and wife. Well, that the husband uh, he made he made a statement early on in the investigation. Uh, claiming, uh, what do you think? What was he claiming? What? Racism and that it was politically charged. That the whole thing is politically charged. Uh, well, you know what, Mr. Garrett? Uh, Mr. Garrett, we, we definitely understand that, don't we? Okay, okay, okay. Moving on. Um, listen, I, okay. I believe, remember how I've been telling y'all about Greg, this Greg Kelly, the project account? Well, there's another account, another account. It's it's called John Cardillo, okay? And I believe that it's, uh, that it's something similar. I believe it's something similar. So, I cannot, uh, I can't say whether this is um, true or false, but I'm just going to read what he tweeted says new england law enforcement sources tell us three dui arrests were squashed of guests leaving the obama party also local cops privately saying they have never seen such an influx of illegal narcotics to martha's vineyard like they did leading up to this event <laughs> okay okay do with this what you will I, I, what I'm saying is I think that there are accounts on Twitter um, right now that are being used. I, I'm telling y'all this because I want y'all to know. Of course, y'all probably could be able to read it and know. But, um, yeah, so there are accounts that are, I believe, being used for for a project. A project. These people are going to see how far and wide these rumors or tweets get spread out. Although, if that were true, I would not be surprised. Not one bit. Not at all. Not at all. Okay, another thing um, that was trending yesterday, along with the Josh Hawley thing, was hashtag Trump is guilty, right? Hashtag Trump is guilty. They cannot, they are obsessed with him. You hear me? Obsessed with him. All right, they talk about us. <laughs> I'm telling you. Listen, I think that they are definitely... Uh, just as much or at least way more so okay so when i try to figure out what's going on like why is this trending is there some kind of um is there some kind of breaking news that i'm not aware of well no no not exactly um basically you just have people going on msnbc and things like that and, and giving their opinion it's nothing you know what i'm saying like i'm thinking i've missed some breaking news about something no uh what it is is senator blumenthal senator blumenthal is it he uh goes on to msnbc and uh or at least he gives them a statement he talks to somebody he says something he says let me be very blunt donald trump mounted a pressure campaign that was absolutely relentless, brutal, personally involved, directly aimed at the Department of Justice, seeking to break it and weaponize it to overthrow the election. That's Senator Blumenthal right there. Uh, yeah, sounds like a, a terrific dude, don't it? And then someone else, listen, and the reason I'm reading this is because this is your tolerant left. Someone said this evil sociopath and his Republican Party are mortal threats to democracy. They came dangerously close to overthrowing an election. If these devils are not prosecuted for their crimes, we may witness the end of American democracy. Hashtag Trump is guilty. Nancy, Nancy, Na oh, the, this person is called Nasty Nancy. Nasty Nancy. The name is fitting, isn't it? It truly is fitting. Um, listen, uh, 
a bunch of a bunch of nothing it's a bunch of nothing that's why at first uh, like i said i thought man did i miss something here you guys that sound outside is getting so loud i hope it's not i hope it's not like too much on the other end we'll have to see okay 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 another thing i wanted to tell y'all real quick um y'all may remember that this officer this officer uh from the los angeles police department um he shot a he shot a man in a costco do you guys remember that because it took me a minute to uh remember it but i'm gonna, I'm gonna tell y'all what happened but charges have been filed against this uh off-duty los angeles police department officer who shot a 32 year old man to death and injured his parents inside a costco in corona in 2019 2019 okay so um here's what it says here's what it says it says according to the officer's attorney hold on am i starting in the wrong place um do I have all of this story here? Okay, I think I know it from memory. Basically, what happened is, um, there was this, um, uh, non-verbal, uh, intellectually disabled, um, guy, man, in, in the Costco. And, for whatever reason, um, this guy just, this, this disabled person just you know, uh, went, went after the police officer and the police officer was holding his child. He had his wife with him. It was him and his family in the Costco. And this, uh, disabled person just, um, went at him. It actually says Corona police said that Sanchez, who is the officer, was shopping at Costco with his family, holding his child in his arms when without provocation a male unknown to the officer's family assaulted him um the french family which uh is um those are the that's the family of the disabled um uh, guy who who i believe he died yes so he died and the the parents were injured they were injured um pretty seriously but they did not die well um let me tell you what it's to me here's the thing um i understand that this was a uh disabled person and everything but um if you're in a store and you're holding your child and someone literally attacks you that's what it sounded like from this article from um this article came from breaking 911 so i mean come on cnn left leaning really okay so this is them telling it but anyway let's see what the california attorney general rob bonta says he uh announced the arrest and filing of felony charges for alleged voluntary manslaughter and assault with a semi-automatic firearm against former los angeles police department salvador sanchez department officer salvador sanchez as a result of an off-duty shooting that occurred during a costco shopping trip in corona california in 2019 the charges announced come after the conclusion of proceedings at the local level and subsequent review of the incident by the attorney general's office as authorized under article blah 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 california constitution okay okay sanchez was arrested so he's been arrested in riverside where where there's reason to believe okay listen to this where there's reason to believe a crime has been committed we will seek justice said attorney general bonta that's exactly what these charges are about pursuing justice after an independent and thorough review of the evidence and the law ultimately any loss of life is a tragedy and being licensed to carry a gun does not mean you're not accountable for how you use it no matter who you are nobody is above the law okay let me finish according to the court documents on june 14th 2019 sanchez while off duty shot and killed 32 year old kenneth french inside a costco sanchez also shot and wounded kenneth's parents 58 year old russell and 59 year old pa paulo paulo following a review of the incident by the attorney general's office sanchez now faces a total of three felony charges listen um i mean i 
listen, I, I, I get it that it was a disabled person who may not have known exactly what they were doing. But, I, I mean, y'all let me know what y'all think. It, it, it just, I mean, you have less than a second to think. And when someone is coming at you, I just, I don't know what type of a response people want, you know? Now, granted, the, the rest of us, we would have probably just, you know, if we, we don't have guns, we're not officers, so maybe it wouldn't have went that way for us. Maybe he does hold, maybe he does have a higher, you know, um, responsibility. Maybe he does need to be held to a higher standard. I do not know. I just feel like that it is very, um, you guys, it just seems, I, I just don't, I don't know, you know, um, I, I can't see too much of a charge, you know, I can't see him doing too much time for something like that. I mean, it's clearly not anything premeditated or anything like that, but moving on. Okay. Listen to this. This is the end. I know. I know. We're so tired of Andrew Cuomo's story. But listen real quick. This is real quick. Albany County Sheriff Craig Apple announced that a criminal investigation is underway. Okay, okay. Um, Apple said that his investigation is in the infant stages. I cannot get into the nature of um, this person's allegations specifically. Um, but we are at the very infant stages. We have a lot of fact-finding to do, and we have a lot of interviews to conduct, and it would be totally premature for me to comment on any of that. What I can, what I have, what I have read so far, I can say that, you know, we're floating around a misdemeanor. A, okay, okay, that's why I wanted to read this. It sounds like, this is his words. This is, um, the Albany County Sheriff, Craig Apple. He says, we're floating around a misdemeanor, but that's just, but again, that's just from the Attorney General's report, he said. Okay, so, we'll see what happens, but, you know, I feel like, uh, okay, let me say this real quick. I kind of feel like that, um, some of these, uh, some of these attorney generals, some of these, some of these people, they see this uh, Cuomo thing as a uh, career builder. They see it as a career builder, an opportunity to um, get their name out there and become uh, come become very well known, ma make a lot of money. They can put that in their little what do you, portfolio of you know things that they, you know, things they've accomplished. I don't know. I don't know. Listen, I've, I've said, you know, how I've kind of said how I feel about that. But uh, anyway, listen, I want to read something real quick that Jenna Ellis tweeted out. Again, Jenna Ellis. She tweets out, Georgia ballots rejected by machines were later altered by election workers to count, uh, to count, were later altered by election workers to count. Records obtained show some adjudicated ballots had marks removed by Trump. Some adjudicated ballots had marks removed by Trump's name. So vote could count for Biden. Let's see what some people said. Um, she tweeted this out. Let's see what some people said. Somebody said, and as the article says, a practice that happens in each and every re-election and also the that in this case, it would not have altered Biden's win. So, John Solomon, uh, I believe that this, what she tweeted out, is a result of something that John Solomon has come out here and said. Um, because someone said, LOL, John Solomon was fired from Fox for spreading disinformation, not a credible news source. I, I'm going to read y'all both sides. Um, someone else said, sweet. Say it before a judge in a courtroom and let us know how it works out for you. Someone else said, this is sad at this point, Jenna. Somebody said, do you get paid to tweet this material? Someone else said, facts don't matter in the USSR. Somebody said, this is not the way it works. You two should really do some reading on how it does work. And not from, from the Constitution, not from Newsmax. So see how, listen, I'm telling y'all, 
Twitter is, um, it, it is, it's unbelievable. And real quick, let me tell you what Jim Jordan tweeted out. He said, just so we're clear, hashtag the coup spreads at churches, schools, Trump rallies, motorcycle rallies, but it does not spread at peaceful protests, the southern border, Democrat wedding receptions, San Francisco hair salons, Governor Newsom's dinner, and President Obama's birthday party. Ha <laughs> ha, good one. Good one, Jim Jordan. And then somebody said, um... Just to be clear, Republicans resist wearing masks in churches, at rallies, at birthday parties, in schools, at work, and in Congress. Somebody else said, just so we're clear, aren't uh, nearly 60% of your supporters aren't jabbed, and many of them are getting sick and dying, yet you never urge them to take the life-saving jab. Okay, first of all, that 60%, um... I don't know about that. I mean, we got numbers coming out saying that um, that the white Trump supporters are actually not the highest population that are refusing it. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I thought that was hilarious because, uh, oh, and by the way, this person that said, just to be clear, Republicans resist wearing masks in churches, in rallies, in birth, blah, blah, blah. Okay, she has no argument. This is what people do. They're deflecting, deflecting deflecting because they do not have a valid argument but you guys know what i sure got a lot of them so make sure that you are subscribed listen i'm having another listen i got to get this other video out to y'all because uh today today later today because um i'm just gonna blast this dude I, this this uh cassidy First of all, he's been voting rhino. He's nothing but a rhino. He's been voting like a rhino for the longest time now. I have actually sent letters myself to this dude, and he did reply back to me, and I can't wait to tell y'all about that. So make sure that you're subscribed and following me across all platforms. Getter, Rumble, you guys know that I'm banned from TikTok, which none of are we're really not. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It was not something that I just... Uh, Listen, y'all know the drill. We'll get into that later. Um, it's all at Raquel Reacts. Sometimes it may be a um, sometimes it may be a capital R, and then on other channels it may be a lowercase R. I'm gonna try to figure that out, y'all. I'm gonna try to fix all that. But thank y'all so much for watching. I love you guys. See you soon.